and welcome friends today we're gonna just work on some shapes srct that's what i named our html file and we're gonna make square rectangle circle and triangle and hopefully it's gonna be easy going process to get them done and i already had the head and we have our styles we didn't create it and if you go follow link it will prompt you to create the file and bam that's right here so and let's come back to our index file and here what i would like to do add individual do classes so for example say this is the class of square let me just say square and then say square medium or actually I'm gonna call this one as the main uh, class of square medium and that way I can tweak the main class for all of the shapes and then I can specify square M for whatever a square shape I'm gonna give right so we don't need to put anything inside so I'm just gonna make it one line and just like this we're gonna add main our next one is rectangle we make all of them medium size of sorts but it's up to you if you want to change this naming or instead of saying main here you want to say something that's your case and this is gonna be circle and then the next one is triangle oops my bad this was main and this gotta be triangle All right, that's about it inside the main class. Then we're gonna open this page with live server. And it, uh, obviously the page is empty. So let's resize the page a little bit. And we don't need to see this part. I'm just gonna close it. And now let's go to our styles page and let's give the background some light color. Let's go with Azure. Let's see that happening right there. And then I want to use the same standard that we used. If you remember our previous project, glass of water, let's go to the styles of that one. We used Flexbox. If you would like to check it out, please go back to the previous video and see that. I'm just going to copy this and close this. And let's add it right here. And of course, we're not going to see anything happening here. We're just going to see it as we go. And then the first class that I want to look at is main. And then I'm going to come back to square M and then so on and on. So let's call main. And then I would like to make sure all of the shapes have certain uh, margin so for example I would like to have their margin say 400 pixels and this is just I made up this number but we can always play with it to see if that's good and I'm also going to give all of 
the shapes and some padding, let's say 200 pixels. But if this number is big, we're going to see. And so we can move on to our first shape, which was square M. And inside the square M, we're going to just say a couple of things. First, Let's start off with some small numbers, all right? We're going to give width, and let's say 100 pixels. And let's give height, also 100 pixels. And let's give border border color this border color let's make them black and then let's give it a background color and we can go with cyan and let's see what's happening here. There we go. Now, uh, 100 and 100. Uh, I think that's kind of big for my case. I'm just going to make them to 50 pixels and 50 pixels. And let's try it again. Uh, slightly gotten smaller. So I'm thinking I could put two shapes in the smallest screen so if i close the gap between the objects let's see how close they can get in the next few minutes and uh let's make it 25 just to be on the safe side And then, as you can see, even though I make this 25, I made it like four times, but because of the margin and I gave 200 pixels, that's where we have the spacing can be messed up. So let's give 50 pixels, just like our previous video, and let's give 100 pixels on this one. Let's see how it's going on. There you go. This is what I'm talking about. So if you see the power of the main, you can give them some values that you think is best for your page. And then now think about making this 50 pixels. And this one also 50 pixels. All right. Now I might as well put three shapes in the smallest screen size. Let's see if that works out. And then same way we're gonna go and let what's the next class? We're going to the rectangle. And then the rectangle M We just need to change this width a little bit off. So for example, let's copy the whole stuff. And let's just make this 100. And let's see what's happening. And now let's change this color. Let's say blue. So let's use one of the light colors. Let's use light green and we don't see that so let's see what's going on let's inspect the page just gonna search for oh I forgot to put dot here okay there we go 
I was going to search for the rectangle dot rectangle class. Let's search it. There you go. We are able to find it. And you see it's highlighting when I click this arrow, that area, where you can make sure that you have. Okay. So let's do, you can arbitrarily work on these numbers to make it more realistic. So let's make the width, say 150. Now, that's more like it. And you might as well get this one down to 25. But again, uh, let's keep the height same, 50 pixels, 50 pixels. And to tell you the truth, why don't we do this? Instead of keep repeating the height, 50 pixels for all of these cases, let's mention it once inside the main class. So we know, and let's get rid of this height right here at line 16. We know they still have 50 pixels. And you now you see the power of the main class that we made. Like along the same lines, let's continue. What's our next stop? And circle. On this one, we're gonna play with some radius, border radius, if you know, which is kind of cool. Now, if you remember, we used the border radius on our glass project. Uh, so that was the styles. We used the border radius just like this for all corners. We can play with the numbers to get the shape. Or if you remember, we used it for 20 pixels for this one. Let's copy this one and we can say border radius as let's make it 40 pixels for all sides. All right. So we don't need to specify all corners. Now, if I do this and then let me also give some width. Now, why do I not put the width also inside the main class? Uh, because the width on square or rectangle or circle, they're different numbers. So due to that one, we can just write down width. And I'm just going to put some random width, let's say 50 pixels. And let's see how that turns out. And again, we don't see nothing here. Let's see why we don't see nothing. And we didn't give the border color. And do you notice that we didn't see the border color as black? And I want to keep all of them as black. Let's see if we put it right here. We're going to see the border color. No, nope, we don't see. But that's the problem. We're going to look at that in a little while. I oh, don't see the borders. And let's add the background color. I'm going to use a different background color. Let's look at one of the light colors. Let's go with light sky blue. And there we are. If you see that border radius is 40 pixels, it doesn't look like circle. 
So let's just play with this number. Let's make it 30. If you remember the previous video, and I, if you change this number a couple times, you can find what you want. And let's make it greater. But all sizes, you can see, we're getting, let's be, give a big number. And there we go. And let's make it smaller again to see the corners. So you start from 50. Let's go to 100. Almost there. And let's go to 150. Yeah, you might as well do 150. Or let's do 200. Not much of a difference after some point, right? So that's the circle. And let's go to our last object, which is the triangle. All right, on the triangle M class, we're just gonna go and add a width and let's do 100 pixels. Let's give a different height. Remember we remove height from the main class because we're just keeping the height at random but again I come back to the idea why we have to not use the same height okay let's use the 50 pixel if that works we can then put the height back inside the main class and we're gonna use the clip path and you can look up how you can use the clip pad yourself. And we're looking for of a polygon. So if you try this with different number, so the first number is 50% and then zero for the next number. And let's see how that's gonna turn out. And let, let's give 50% for this one. So as the other one, 50%. Let's see if we get anything. And yes, let's give it a color that quite doesn't like triangle. So one of the disadvantages of clip path, you just need to make sure you are getting it right. So if it's a polygon, let's just look up how to use the clip path. And if you look at this one circle, this one we need, as you can see, the first value is 50% to a zero before the comma. So we're going to add zero right here. And then it is 100% and 50% in the same place. So it's going to be zero and zero but let's just do 50 pixels here instead of zero and then the next after comma 50 to 100 now let's just keep 50 to 50 percent and then comma And then let's add one last number instead of zero right here. Zero or 50. Let's add, add 50 pixel. Let's see what just happened. Okay, let's review the numbers. 50 to zero. Zero to 
make it a greater number, 100. And then let's keep them all the same, 100. And let's see what happens. All oh, right. So if you use this option, we get some sort of triangle, but that's a little off. We have to make sure this is flat on the ground. So let's see if we can get that one. Let's put 50 on this one. Better zero right here. And let's make it 10%. Better 50 over here. And let's cut this down to 50. Much better. And let's reduce this one down. Okay, this is the tricky part of the clip path. And to tell you the truth, once you figure out the way to do it, it's much better than dealing with the borders. Okay. Let me try one more time. And you can see that turned around. Oops, that's not a triangle. Let's make it 100 again. Let's just use a different approach. Okay, I think I like this triangle better than the previous one. Oops, that's not it. Okay, now, uh, because we have the height at 50 pixels for pretty much all three, so I'm just going to put it inside the main class again. Let's get rid of this one from square. Triangle. Now yeah, there we go. And again, our triangle could have been a lot better, but after doing trial and error and how to get it done, I'm gonna let you choose if you like these clip path. But I would say, in my opinion, if you get what you need off of Polygon. I rather choose the clip path than choosing to do with borders. But again, it's up to you. If you want to use the borders, you can do all those tricks with that. And we can see the syntax and then the attributes given. You can read. You can search up clip path yourself and see these examples. And we just take this example and then play with the numbers. After a couple of trials, we get some sort of triangle looking thingy. And then inside in the next video, we can use the clip path to get this pointy part at the top to the bottom. So it turned upside down. Let's try to use that one. We can add some more shapes inside our page. But if you were to add more on your own, I highly recommend you do that. It will give you some good experience dealing with these shapes. And remember, we used a Flexbox, Space Around and Wrap option to make sure they are 
well arranged inside the page as rows and columns. And if you make the page bigger, they're all inside uh, one row. And if you make the page smaller and even smaller, that's two columns at best with what we have. Hopefully you got the idea of how to get this done. Feel free to ask questions. Until next time. Bye now.